All right, so today, unfortunately, I have to do go bye bye in a little bit. So, um, your assignment, and I am talking this class as well, and the ones watching this video, um, we're going to do it slightly different than first hour and second hour, simply because I'm not going to be here sixth hour to do this for you. So, um, we need to review real quick. And the substitute, if you don't mind just pausing the video after each question and see what the class has to say about them. First question is, what do you call the end of a river where all of the sediment gets pushed out and it creates this nice little shape into the lake or ocean? Just talked about it. Yep, delta, okay. Next question, when a river overflows its banks, and it deposits large amounts of sediment into an area. We showed you this yesterday. What do you call that? Deposition. It is deposition. But what do we call the actual area near a river where it overflows its banks? Nobody? No, but it is something plain. You know, overflows it. Spanks kind of floods the area. What is it? Yeah, floodplain, okay. <clears throat> what do you call large bends in a river? Meanders. What do you call, uh, what type of river? Okay, we talked about three, young, old, or mature. Which river is going to have the steep slopes, rapids, uh, moving quick, Grand Canyon example? Young river. What makes a mature and an old river? Okay, the erosion. What else? Okay, more bends. It's got more meanders in it. What else? Yep, yes, the rivers start getting wider. And what about speed of water? Starts to slow down, okay? So these things are some of the things that you're going to be looking together. Um, when a bend in a river gets, um, gets left behind, what do we call that? That's your oxbow lake. Okay. So when the river straightens out and it moves past a bend, that's called an oxbow. Okay. Um, so today we are going to, um, do a Google earth activity. Okay. For this activity to work, I want you to use Google Earth, not Google Maps, not an internet browser. On each of the big laptops is a program called Google Earth. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So if the substitute will pass out this paper, it says uh, surface water landforms, Google Earth scavenger hunt. Okay. So pass this out to everybody. You only need, I should say, one per group. Okay. Just one per group. Um, everybody, now that you have your paper on number five, on number five, I want you guys to put the number 56 kilometers somewhere near number five. Okay. 56 kilometers, right at somewhere near five, please. Okay. If you look at all of them, it tells you the altitude at which you need to be at Google earth is 55. Okay. So, or 56, sorry, 56. Okay. Um, okay, you guys that have already started your assignment, please hold off because we have to do a little different. First thing I want to do is we need to make sure that at the bottom of Google Earth, right down here at the very bottom, see where it says 289 kilometers, the bottom right. If you don't see that, chances are you have your tour guide up. If you have pictures at the bottom, you need to minimize that. So we're going to minimize the tour guide. Um, if it doesn't say kilometers, you need to go up to the very top where it says tools and you're going to go to options and right dead center where it says units of measurement, you're going to select meters and kilometers and click OK. All right. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Google Docs and you are going to open up. You are going to open up. Um, the shared folder called Earth Science. You are going to go to the Earth Science folder. And then you're going to go to number seven where it says erosion and water. Okay. Substitute, you can pause this if they get stuck. 
7. Unit 2, Chapter 7. Okay, Unit 2, Chapter 7. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the one that says Surface Water Landforms Google Earth Scavenger Hunt. And what this will do for you is give you the coordinates so that you can copy and paste, make life a little bit easier. Okay, so if I'm using Google Earth and I want to go to the 29 degrees, 9 minutes north, I'm going to copy this. Okay, so highlight it, control C or right click, copy and paste. You go to Google Earth, you paste it right in here. You're going to hit a comma and then a space after that comma. Then you go back here again and you are going to highlight the second part. Control C copies it, go back to Google Earth, paste it. You're going to hit enter and hopefully it'll take us where we want to go. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is because we need to know the altitude, a lot of times it'll zoom into the middle of nowhere, you're going to scroll out, zoom out, until it tells you, for example, on number one, it says to go to 118 kilometers. So we're going to go to 118 kilometers. And in here, you are going to identify the landform. And because I'm not going to be here, we're going to have you share that in a Google Doc. So how do you take a picture of that? Best way to take a picture is hit your print screen button. Okay, so if I hit print screen, and then I go to a Google Doc somewhere or a PowerPoint, I don't care what you share it with me in. Well, let's go to a Google Doc. I'll just put it at the end of your erosion PowerPoint here, and I just hit Control V, and it will paste that picture, maybe. There it is. It'll paste that picture on the inside, okay? Now, my picture looks a little bit different because I'm using two monitors, and it's showing you both those monitors. Your, your image will look just like that, okay? Now, some of you may hit Control P, or um, control print screen or print screen whatever it is and it might dim out like this okay all you have to do is drag a box over the image that you're doing and then copy and paste that image in there as well okay and there it goes um, a couple ways to figure out um, hopefully you guys can but I have two programs I have the uh, print screen and whatnot you're going to label that the answer to your um, to the question. And so one way, since we're using Google Docs anyways, one way might be to come up here and say create a copy of this document. This would be just fine with me, okay? Create a copy. Um, you can come in here then and it'll say what depositional feature. So I want a picture of this. So you can actually come in here, control V, paste your picture. To, this basically demonstrates that you just didn't copy it off somebody. Um, shrink it down a little bit and write the answer out. Describe how this is formed and you'll be good on that. Or create a new new document. I don't really care. Um, and then you're going to share that document with me. Hope that's as clear as mud and uh, good luck.